When life gives you lemons, make a lemon battery. You just need a few copper pennies, some wire, galvanized nails, those lemons life gave you, and science. This episode is a hands-on activity where we build a lemon battery to power an LED, whereas the follow-up episode goes under the rind to explore the physics and underpinning science around how all this works. These episodes will help provide an in-depth understanding of electricity. Let's switch out of animation and get started building the battery. For this activity, you'll need these materials. You'll also need these tools. A step-by-step -step procedure is linked in the description. If you're under 12, ask an adult before starting this activity. Also, a few tips for safety. Don't eat or drink any of the lemons or objects that we use. This is because the metal in the nails leaches into the lemons, and eating that isn't good for you, so just don't. And be careful with the nails, wire, and wire cutters. Don't hurt yourself. So, now let's build this lemon battery and start generating electricity. First, take a lemon and press and roll it on the counter to break up some of the internal structures in the lemon and release the juices. Second, push four nails into one side of the lemon. The nails should be as close as possible and touching one another. Third, cut a good length of wire about yay long and use it to make a small row of punctures on the other side of the lemon, away from the nails. Now push a penny into the lemon where you made the row of punctures, then press a second and then a third penny into the lemon. Fourth, take the copper wire and loosely coil it around your finger a few times, flatten the coil, and press it into the lemon between two of the pennies. To make sure there's enough copper surface area, push in a few more pennies. This is science, but not exact science, so have fun with it. You may want to add a second shorter coil of wire into the lemon and attach it to the first like I've done here. The goal is to have a lot of copper surface area in the lemon, with a good connection from the pennies to the wire. Also, make sure that the copper pennies don't touch any of the nails inside the lemon. If they were to, the battery wouldn't work. And that's it! You built a lemon battery. Now let's try and light up this LED. And it doesn't work. And that's because one of these lemon batteries doesn't provide enough voltage to light the LED and therefore we have to use three of these batteries in series to make a super lemon battery. So fifth, let's build two more lemon batteries identical to the first. In order to combine the power from three batteries to make a super lemon battery, we are going to place them in series. To do this, we'll use some tape and a marker to label the lemons number one, two, and three. Now take the copper wire from lemon number one and use the pliers to wrap it tightly around the nails on lemon number two, and then do the same with the copper wire from lemon number two by wrapping it around the nails on lemon number three. Next, cut an additional length of copper wire and wrap it around the nails on number one, and then tape and label this wire negative. Then, tape and label the copper wire out of number three as positive. To light the LED, take the negative wire and press it to the shorter leg on the LED, and take the positive wire and press it to the longer leg. It works! You just generated electricity using some lemons, nails, wire, and copper pennies, and then use that electricity to power an LED and produce light. Good job! Our super lemon battery is done! Here are some questions for you to think about. Consider them, and we'll explain the answers and more in the next episode, so stick around for that. Also, if you had issues with your lemon battery, read the description to troubleshoot. Probably the answer will be in there. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others. If you have any questions or ideas, post them in the comments below. This episode branches to exploring lemon batteries, voltage and current, lithium-ion batteries, and understanding electricity. Also, remember to think about the conceptual simplicity and structural complexity throughout the world around you.